Hello Virgo, this is Sammy Lane. This is going to be your reading from today the 18th until the 31st of May. So for the second half of May. These readings will not resonate with everyone, but it is my hope and intention that they will at least give each of you a couple of messages that you need. I'm going to start off with the Pleiadian messages, then we'll move into some starseed, angels and ancestors, and then the wisdom of the oracle. Then we'll jump into some tarot, see what you're dealing with, your current energy, maybe love and finance, whatever comes out. And then we'll close with the angel guidance cards. If you would take a second to like and subscribe, it helps me, it helps the channel, it helps other Virgos find their message. Thank you. And please... Do not hesitate to comment below. It really helps me uh, con confirm things for me. So if you find a card that resonates, if you would please comment about it, that would be great. It also helps the other Virgos who are watching to feel confirmation as well if they're going through similar situations. So your Pleiadian message is, Gods lose themselves and find themselves. This is what all the cells of Source do. It's a cycle. Now is the time for you to find yourself, to fully wake up and take your power back. Realize you are the one in power and that you are here to help not only others but yourself too. This is what happens when helping others. Wow. So now it is time for you to find yourself, fully wake up, and take your power back. That is beautiful. And when you do this, not only do you help yourself, but you help others too. Okay, let's get some angels and ancestors. Oracle cards for Virgo. Wow, that was easy. Arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. So some of you are getting clear about your path or you're getting some clarity about where you're headed. And so now is the best time to protect yourself and what you're creating. If you're coming up with a new idea, don't tell people. Okay? If you got a new idea, a new business, something you're doing, don't tell people what you're doing. Okay, you want to surround yourself with positivity and protective energy at this time. Let's get some Starseed Oracle for Virgo, please, for the second half of May 2021. Okay, there it is. Jumped in my hand. I'm sorry. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. You could be dealing with a twin flame energy or a soulmate connection here. Somebody wants to say, I'm sorry. Maybe that's you. Maybe you're needing forgiveness from somebody. Or maybe someone needs your forgiveness. Defenselessness. Writing your past wrongs, uprooting. So some of you are dealing with your roots, your ancestors, your karma. Okay, some of you are literally uprooting, changing where you live, changing your business. But you're fixing it. You're writing the wrongs. Some of you feel... very weak in this position, defenselessness. Or maybe this is just you giving up and saying, I'm not going to fight anymore. You know, I really need forgiveness or I need to hear that you are accepting or at least acknowledging my apology and dropping your defenses. Okay, let's get some Wisdom of the Oracle. 
So definitely if you're feeling hurt or or like you hurt someone else, you really have to stay positive. Don't get sucked into that energy like you know, it's very healthy to admit when you're wrong. It's very healthy to ask for forgiveness or apologize and to try to make things right. But because Spirit has already said we have to surround our energy now uh, with protection. Okay, you're going through a lot right now, Virgo, it seems. You're waking up. You're finding yourself figuring out the pieces of yourself maybe uh, and so in the process you feel like you want to right the wrongs and that's amazing that is definitely one of the phases of awakening is going back and apologizing to everyone you ever hurt okay we got flexible number 19 can you read it I have to hold it a really long time for it to come into focus. So I'm just going to read from the book. Number 19. Some of you may have a birthday on the 19th. Hmm. Okay. Flexible, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. So it's very important that you stay open to new experiences, new relationships, uh, new people coming in that could be helping you here. And think about all that it said about the tree and uprooting and these roots here. So you are definitely going through a lot of change. I mean, it literally says uprooting. So... You may feel like your whole world is changing right now, Virgo, but I feel like it's a good change. Let's do some tarot, and then we'll do the angel cards last. Please tell me about Virgo from today to the 31st of May. We do have Saturn going retrograde on the 22nd, 23rd. So we just have like five more days until that happens. And then um, we have the lunar... Wow. Then we have the lunar eclipse coming in, full lunar eclipse with the moon on the 26th in Sagittarius and then on the 29th Mercury will be going retrograde so now is like a time to get situated before everything starts to slow down. Pluto's already in retrograde but Saturn is going to follow suit and Mercury is already in this pre-shadow phase so you're already starting to see breakdowns in communication, um, issues with technology, issues possibly with your car, uh, technology breaking down, that kind of thing. So you want to try, if there's anything new you want to start or anything you need to get going, you want to do that now because when Saturn retrogrades, he wants to know how serious you are. Uh, and Saturn can bring karma. And so he's trying to figure out if you've done the work, if you're stable, if you made the right plans, if, if you've put it into action, and, and if you're dedicated. So things are going to slow down, things are going to stop. And you're going to feel maybe more restricted, uh, maybe feel like things delay, things get slower, harder to do. So you want to do as much as you can in the next week here and don't wait on it. 
So firstly, Virgo, you have this Six of Wands, which is really good positive energy of moving forward, working hard towards something. It's actually a card of recognition, getting credit. Some people would say this is the card for fame. Um, this could also be considered a wedding card or homecoming card. Getting back in touch with old connections. Be careful with that because you do have Three of Cups here, which is the same sort of reconciliation energy. Or just going out with friends, socializing, celebrating, a uh, wedding type. Um, like going to a wedding, not your own wedding. But it seems like um, because this is a victory card, it is a success card. It's like you're feeling good about yourself and where you are, I feel like, in your work life. So now you're looking for more of like social gatherings. Maybe you, you miss your friends or you're looking for a spouse. Um, but you're wanting to go out and spend time with more people. You may be celebrating this success that you've had. And in doing so, you're networking more, which brings in even more opportunities for you. So that's amazing. You do have that Ace of Pentacles here. I have Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So for some of you, you're really becoming... These don't have to be male or female, okay? But I do feel a more motherly nature surrounding this Queen of Pentacles. So either you are this Queen of Pentacles who is grounded, very stable. She's generous. She's nurturing and she gives to others. She is the, she is the mother of all the queens, um, of all the different suits. She is more of the mother, so... She is abundant, she's stable, she has what she needs, but she's very caring and giving. So either, Virgo, this is you, and you become very stable through the something. It's like you took a risk and you get some type of recognition for it. And in doing so, you celebrate more and like you stay in this very positive energy and you're manifesting and things are coming to you quickly. So you get new opportunities and then you feel so stable, you have everything that you need. This could also be another earth sign, Capricorn or Taurus. We have a little bit of water and a little bit of fire. So it could be water signs or fire signs if you're dealing with somebody. But this is like not giving up. It's like you didn't give up and it, and it freaking came through for you. Like it worked, you know, and then now you're celebrating and you're just enjoying these opportunities. They just keep coming in for you. And if this isn't you, Virgo, then this is what you're wanting. Maybe you draw in an opportunity with a Queen of Pentacles, which would be either another Virgo or a Taurus or Capricorn or have heavy earth in their chart. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a very stable, secure, motherly type energy. She may have kids, um, but she's definitely wifey material. This is wifey right here. That's baby. Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> but that legit is wifey. Some of you are looking for wifey. You're waiting for that hubby or wifey to come in. You're waiting for this Ten of Pentacles. It's like you got something good going here, but you want someone to share it with. This is so sweet. So you're waiting. Some of you, if you are this Queen of Pentacles, you got really good. You're stable and secure, but you're just waiting for those ships to come in. It's like you've really put in the effort and you're just waiting for this Ten of Pentacles. It's like you want every the, you want this to be everything. Family, abundance, you know, like living your best life. You know what I mean? A little bit of everything. Okay. Yeah, reciprocity. You want equal give and take. You want someone who gives just as much as you give. And it seems like you may be finding it. You are still looking here or waiting to see what's going to come of this. But you may have so much that you're able to give to charity. Maybe doing volunteer work. That sort of thing. Or giving to friends and family. You may have people asking you for help. Um, so just remember, as much as you give you know, you will get in return. And you have to stay balanced. There's this scale in here. Some of you can be dealing with the Libra. See the scale? So, definitely seeking equality, balance. If this is about a relationship, you may just 
already had this Queen of Pentacles in mind, but you're waiting to see where it goes. Aw, yeah, you guys want stability. You want someone you can count on. This is a commitment. For some of you, this is a twin flame, the 1111. But this is like wedding. See, they're getting married. Oh, they're getting married. Okay. This is so sweet, Virgo. This is really nice. Um, so you guys are moving towards it. You're definitely waiting for this to come in for you. You've done all you need to do, it seems like. Uh, you just need to stay positive about these opportunities. Yeah, you need to have patience. And some of you are really needing to heal. I know it's cliche, but I can't say it enough. You cannot attract your lifelong partner unless you are at the same frequency that you're wanting them to be. If you want to attract someone who's broken and needs work and needs healing and going to fight with you and, you know, have a bunch of baggage and issues, then go ahead and don't fix yourself, Virgo. But if you want someone whole and healed and open and a good communicator and understanding and, uh, and open about their issues and working on their issues and working on themselves, then you need to do that too. Okay, temperance is tempering the water. It's Sagittarian energy, but it's angelic. Okay, this is Archangel Michael coming in, saving the day, saying, let's do some alchemy here. Let's work on it a little bit. Let's work on ourselves and have patience. This is a card of healing. If you don't do the healing, this is coming in for you. You guys have a really great energy right now where you are very attracted. You are attracting to you because I think you've recognized your patterns of karma in the past and you're trying to change it now. And you're trying to be flexible and open. And Virgo, that's amazing energy for you because you're not always very flexible. I mean, not always. You, I mean, you're adaptable. You're a mutable sign. I get that. Like, you can change if you have to. But when you're just being flexible just to let whatever come in, that's really great for you because Virgos sometimes have a hard time allowing that. They like to, you know, plan things and have everything set up. And Yeah, where Cordell is on the bottom, King of Pentacles. So we have a couple here, power couple. Whichever you are, male or female, you're definitely attracting wifey or hubby material if that's what you need, okay, if that's what you seek. Otherwise, this is about money and you got it coming in and it looks stable and secure. But to me, this is wedding commitment. And Spirit is just saying, work on you. Heal yourself. You're already doing it. You're already doing it. And that's what's attracting this. You changing your frequency to a higher vibration and being pure of heart as you already are by nature, Virgo, you're attracting these things to you. Someone's going to come in and talk or you want to talk. This is like an offer of love. This is like a commitment maybe or like a proposal. You know, like, hey, maybe we should uh, hang out on Friday night. <laughs> I don't know someone wants to talk about it you may be dealing with the Pisces we got the moon there's some feeling here I mean you have feelings for somebody or you maybe this is just the emotion of what you want to come in maybe you're really seriously manifesting this we have a queen of swords on the bottom so you may be feeling like you have someone in mind but maybe they're kind of unapproachable maybe they're harsh or they seem intimidating I don't know but you see this Ten of Cups with this person, so I'd say you better go talk to him, Virgo, because Ten of Cups, that's family. That's emotional fulfillment. That's everything. I really like it. There seems like there was an ending with somebody in the past, and now you're trying to go a whole new route. You're trying to find a whole new way, and I really love that for you, Virgo. So let's check out your angel guidance. Let me see here. Tell me about Virgo from now to the 31st of May. 
No way. I just saw this and I was like, oh, that's Virgo's energy. So pure and innocent. And then it popped out. I love it. <gasps> oh my God. Look at the bottom. Opportunity to forgive. Wow. Okay. We're going to read them both. Innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth. As no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection, give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. Wow, Virgo, you guys are really going through some heavy stuff right now. It's like you really feel bad. I don't know if you're asking for forgiveness or if someone is asking you, but it seems like you just want to be better. You just want to do better. Maybe it's because of this awakening that you've had. Uh, maybe it's because you have, like, you know, you want to help and serve others. Maybe it's because you're trying to attract this uh, lifelong wifey hubby thing. But it looks good on you, Virgo. It's very sweet. Opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Aww. Yeah, so either you're dealing with someone who really hurt you and you're needing to, to forgive them. Maybe just for your own healing. Not to like be with them or fix a relationship or, you know, if it was like your friend or your boss, like reconcile and go back to that. But sometimes all you need is just to forgive. And then you may never even talk to them again. But that's what's necessary for healing. So either someone's coming to you or you're going to them. But we have, do have a lot of apologizing here, Virgo. So do not get sucked into this energy. Keep this flexibility and this innocence about you give the angels your feelings of heaviness any guilt anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook and enjoy the peace within your heart once more and you guys are so pure of heart really virgo so i hope you enjoyed this um please like and subscribe and comment if it resonated with you it really helps me and it confirms for the other Virgos. I hope you have a great rest of your month. And I will see you in the next one.